everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is a short, short little um, uh, uh, podcast here. We're going to talk about this press secretary. I wrote her name down, by the way, folks. I wrote her name down. The White House press secretary. Uh, I think her, she goes by the name of Caitlin McKinney. Uh, if that's right, I don't know if that's how you pronounce her name. But she's the White House press secretary. And uh, she does the briefing room for all the reporters out there. And uh, if you guys don't know how to spell her name, um, I'll give it to you on the subtitles. I'll put it on the subtitles. I think she pronounced her name as Kate, Kate, Caitlin, something, McKee. Anyway, it's hard for me to pronounce this. Um, she's a, a White House press secretary who does the briefings uh, once in a while. You'll see her at the podium. Um, uh, she's with Donald Trump. She speaks for Donald Trump as the uh, as the media people would ask questions. If there's ask, is there questions to be asked? Caitlin will be there. I think that's her. Uh, that's how she says her name, Caitlin. I think. Anyway, anyway, if you guys don't know what I was saying in this audio, I'll put her name on my subtitle. Um, so I will I will give her some kudos where kudos are due. She was a good press se- a secretary lady. Now we don't know if the transition from her to another woman will be at the press secretary. Uh, there's going to be a big transition here, folks. Uh, I was just thinking about this today when Joe Biden was elected. Uh, who's going to be the next White House press secretary? We don't know. We don't know at the minute. I was just thinking about this today. Who's going to be the next White House press secretary? Uh, if you have a comment, put on the section. I, I wrote down her name. This is what her name is, okay? I wrote down what, how she spells it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it out there, and um, if this is not her spelling, let me know, folks. Let me know if this is her spelling. Um, so this is her tweet. This is the White House press secretary, and uh, she uh, speaks for Donald Trump, as far as I know. Uh, so she speaks for Donald Trump. I'll give, it, I'll give kudos. I was thinking today uh, when Joe Biden won this thing, Who's going to be the next press secretary of the White House? We don't know. It's up in the air in the question like that. Um, I wrote down her name. Uh, I think the way that she spelt it, it's K-A-Y-L-E-I-G-H. That's her first name. Uh, M-C-E-N-A-N-Y. That's her last name. So, and she's the uh, White House press secretary. Uh, I spelled it out for you people, so you can write it down if you want. Uh, so, so I'll, 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 I'll give it out her name. I'll just say White House Press Secretary and her name. Uh, so I'll give it out there to you folks. I'll, I'll put it in the subtitle of the, of the YouTube video. Uh, so I'll give you the kudos where kudos is due. She was a great press secretary, no question about it, uh, all the way through the Trump administration. Uh, at times she talks very fast, maybe a few times she talked a little slower, uh, but she did pretty good. I gotta admit, she was a little good at it, just a little uh, good at it. Uh, people had their uh, her, uh, views about her, but I think I think she did a good job as being press secretary of the White House. Uh, uh, but I don't know if Joe Biden will hire her on as press secretary. That's the question we were asking. Um, is it gonna be changing of the guard, just like the presidency, or uh, like the press C, is it going to hire her on as press secretary or have another person be in press secretary? So is it going to be change of the guard for press secretary or is it going to be the same old, same old? Uh, we don't know, folks. This is, <laughs> this is truly, truly stunning. I was just thinking about that when Joe Biden won this today. Uh, but we'll know, we'll know by next year, folks. We'll know by next year. I- I'll tell you guys, I will put this out as a podcast. Uh, if you, as they say on YouTubers, put a comment and like this, like this YouTube video, and uh, hit that share button. And uh, choice is yours, everybody. Choice is yours. And uh, we'll give it up to everybody out there. Hope we have a fan dandy um, evening. We're gonna wait for Joe Biden's speech from the podium, and we're gonna record it for the very first time, ever since he won this thing. So we're gonna wait until eight o'clock and record this speech, a long speech with Kamala Harris in there. We'll give her kudos. First vice president woman, can you believe that? She'll represent the women of the world. Uh, so I hope she does a good job as being vice president. That's vice president, can you believe that? Vice president. 
of Joe Biden. Can you believe that? That's astounding to any woman on the planet. <laughs> Vice President Kamala Harris, everybody. She uh, took school in Quebec. If you're not, if I just gotta say to you guys, she took school in um, Canada, Quebec. Uh, you can go see her. Uh, I say school yearbook. Go see her in her school yearbook. Uh, she took class in uh, in Quebec, uh, Canada, Quebec, and uh, she may know a little bit of French. You may have to ask her that, but. Nonetheless, Kamala Harris, Vice President Joe Biden won, and now, now we're going to now the question is up in the air, folks. Who's going to be the White House press secretary? Is the question? Does she does she leave the press uh, the, uh, the uh, Donald Trump presidency, or she stays with Joe Biden and continues, as they say, continuing? Uh, so we don't know, uh, but I will put her name on the subtitles. Uh, for you guys to understand that, okay? So there you go, folks. This is my little Diddy, as they say, little P. Diddy or Diddy. Uh, you know what I mean? P. Diddy. I was playing his music the other day. Uh, P. Diddy, what's up, everybody? P. Diddy, what's up? I played your music the other day. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah. We miss you. We miss you. Thunder Dance, we miss you. <laughs> That's the song we played from P. Diddy from way back in the day. We missed it with Faith Hill. Yeah. So there you go, folks. I'm out of here. Hope you have a nice night. Don't forget, Joe Biden won this thing. I don't know if you guys agree, but Joe Biden won this thing. And he's a Democrat, not a... Uh, get this, folks. She, Joe Biden is a Democrat and not, uh, you know, the other uh, people. Uh, so there you go. So there you go. So, we'll, so four years, four years of Joe Biden. Can you believe this? Four flipping years of Joe Biden. We'll see where this takes uh, for the American people next four years. Uh, is it going to be an upheaval or is it going to be, you know, uh, is it going to be a same old, same old, like going down the streets and protest? Uh, or is it going to be Black Lives Matter sort of thing? We don't know. Is it going to be an upheaval or the same old, same old every night where they go out there and protest on live stream? Uh, so there you go, there you go, folks. I'll leave it at that. Until then, I'll see you on the next podcast. It's like changing of the guard. The thing I want to say to anybody in the United States, it's like changing of the guard. Donald Trump, you say goodbye to him, and then you got Joe Biden, who's a Democrat. Uh, not a, not a, you know. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys until then. Don't forget the pandemic is still going. The pandemic is still going. They're killing people out there, folks. They're killing people out there. Uh, the pandemic's still going, no matter what, who, who's in Oval Office. That's right, folks. Who was ever in the Oval Office, the pandemic's still going. Until we find a cure, we can't do anything about it. So there you go, folks. Hope you have a good night. Until then, ciao for now, everybody.